Hi, I'm Kurt from Hextronics, and today I'm going to show you how to use our automatic drone station product, the Hextronics 1. In this particular installation, we're at a thoroughbred horse farm off in the countryside that's looking to collect routine imagery of their many pastures, buildings, and equipment. Let's get started by creating our flight plans through the automatic mission scheduler provided by FlightNow. So, we'll begin with the back pastures. A standard mission consists of a series of waypoints that tells the drone where to go and what to do. At the first waypoint, I'll aim the gimbal downwards and start recording the video. Okay, on to the lake. We'll plan these missions to occur at a certain height that's safe and ensures no possible collisions with surrounding obstacles. 25 meters is plenty high. I'll set the speed and take a picture at the second waypoint. That way I can compare it to the ones I've taken on previous missions. Alright, moving on to the front pastures now. In this mission, we'll be able to fly at a lower altitude in some areas since we're certain that there will be no surrounding obstacles. Similar to the other missions, we'll also trigger a video recording throughout the flight to collect image data to have analyzed at a later date. After a few tries of mission planning, I'll be certainly able to capture the video of all the points of interest. Okay, we've got it. Now for the main house. We'll turn the gimbal camera down 90 degrees so we can get a full view from the house from above. Following similar routes like this, we'll be able to make a full image map of the house and any surrounding property. Okay, with these four flights that we've just created together, it's time to test them out to ensure that each mission proceeds without any issues. This will allow us to have confidence in scheduling them for autonomous flight. Alright, now it's time to fly. The station has received a power on signal for the software. This triggers the gantry inside to power up the drone manually, just as a person would. Then the station sends out the drone and it starts receiving its GPS signal to prepare for the coming mission. Alright. Let's start the mission for the back paddocks that we just planned. Beautiful. Let's see how the camera visuals turn up on the live stream. You can see that the drone box closed itself to make sure no harmful things got in. How's it looking? Uh, the grass looks freshly cut and fences lining the paddocks look sturdy and ready for a new group of horses to come in. All the video see now is being streamed through 4G through the global network and can be accessed from anywhere on the planet with 4G or Wi-Fi signal. Of course, the drone is now taking high quality recording of the data that will be uploaded to the cloud once it returns back home. This streaming video and the high quality video is capable of being processed by image recognition softwares to automatically pick out and take note of critical information. This is shown by the overlaid frames that you see now that show how many cars are parked in this barn today. Okay, now let's get onto the lake. Okay, flying over, the route planning software is capable to maintain, is careful to maintain a height that doesn't collide with any surrounding objects. Okay, taking a look at this lake, it looks like that they've been recently treating the algae growth to clean up the water's surface. This will be a great mission to help track the progress of the treatment over time. As the image recognition technology advances, more detailed analysis tools will be available to track changes of this nature. Perfect. These are some great shots. All right, success. We're on to the main house. All right, on the flight over, once again, the software is sure to prevent any collisions by being able to maintain an appropriate height. As we fly over the house, we'll be collecting the information about the roof and surrounding infrastructure. So with a thermal drone, we'd be able to see the significant heat signatures within and around the house. In collaboration with future mapping algorithms, the images captured by the drone can later be transformed into a 3D model 
This will be useful for monitoring construction changes over time. All right, we got it. Now that the house mission's over, let's make sure we have enough battery to complete the inspection of the front paddocks that's coming up next. We better go back to the station for a new battery. All right, now the drone's returned back home and is performing precision landing to ensure that it lands safely back inside the station. Perfect, here we go. Alright, once we've landed, we'll be brought back inside and the robotic gantry will come back alive again. First, it'll power off the drone, then robotically swap out its battery for a fresh new one. All the while, the array of five extra batteries is being constantly charged and maintained in the background. This ensures that a drone will always be able to have a fresh battery for the ready. Alright, now the drone is powered on once again and it'll be sent out to start the next mission. Okay, great. Now that we're back at full battery, the front pasture's mission will start and we'll be sent out on this next journey. So as for the station range, with the standard package, the drone can fly safely and reliably within a one mile radius. This means that one station can cover an area of up to 2,000 acres. Further advancements with the radio signal can be purchased to up to double the usable range. Alright, we've made it to the front pastures, and we're flying low enough to be able to see the quality of the fence posts. Hold on, what, what was that? Looks like there's a backhoe in this area. All right, let's switch to manual and check it out. As you can see, I can control this real time with the joysticks on the screen right in the middle of a mission. Okay, it looks like everything's up under control and he's just going back home. Let's go ahead and resume the mission. As you can see, any adjustment can be made while the drone is the air, in the air, and the in-flight recovery is as simple as just a few button clicks. Alright, looks like we're coming to the end. Alrighty, now that we've completed our last mission, let's head back to the station to be powered off, and then we'll figure out programming in for recurring mission schedules. Turning back home and another successful precision landing is coming. I can feel it. <laughs> okay, now that we've proved that all missions are successful, in the next part we'll start to plan these missions to trigger automatically. And success. Landing successful. Perfect. Alright, now that we're done, the drone's being powered off, it's calling a day, and let's head into the mission scheduler to plan for the future. Alright, we're in. Let's set up these missions to trigger on a recurring basis. We'll start with the front pasture inspection. Selecting the drone we want and the time to start, uh, let's get 7 a.m. every day. Okay, you can see that the calendar just filled up in order to accompany this mission daily. Let's schedule two more to occur 30 minutes apart. We'll do the front pasture and let's do the main house inspection. Okay, now it's possible to do these just 30 minutes apart recurring since we have the rapid refueling capability of the Hextronics 1. Okay, perfect. All set with the autonomous missions. Thank you for learning how to use an autonomous drone station and hopefully one day you'll have one for yourself. Till then, please visit us at hextronics.tech to learn more. I've been Kurt, and please have a great day.